Let's now take you to Zimbabwe, where former Zimbabwean cabinet minister and late Robert Mugabe loyalist Savior Katsukurele has announced his candidature for the presidential election set for August 23. Challenging incumbent president Emerson Ngagwa and opposition leader Nelson Chamisa, Katsukurele threw his hat into the ring two days before the nomination court convened. In a statement, the 52-year-old former cabinet minister said he accepted the call to run for office. He said Zimbabwe cannot afford another five years of President Emerson Ngagwa's misrule. Kasukawere has been in exile since 2017 when the late Robert Mugabe was overthrown through a coup. And now to discuss this, we are being joined by Makomborero Haruzive, who is a political analyst. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. All right, so uh, how does the return of Silvio Kasugurere impact the current political landscape in Zimbabwe? He mostly, I think, uh, the reality something which is, uh, in terms of empirical evidence, will be seen uh, with the manner in which the ruling party treats him when he lands into Zimbabwe, when he lands into Harare for his campaigns. As of now, it's more of speculation, uh, which is derived from uh, the letters that he has been writing, but if the letters that he has been writing are anything to go by. He poses more threats uh, to the ruling ZANU-PF, because he has been addressing more and speaking more in his letters to ZANU-PF supporters, speaking more uh, to ZANU-PF you know, membership, uh, speaking more to uh, the ZANU-PF conduct after uh, post Mukabe. So he has been more of acting like a kind of a laundromat of Mukabe's legacy, which he hopes yeah, after laundering Mugabe's legacy, it would turn into some sort of political ladder which would lead him trust to the top. So I think, above all, he is more of threatening the best and uh, support of Mr. Emerson Munangagwa, the current president. And uh, yeah, we will have to really see his real threats when he lands into Zimbabwe. All right, uh, Marco Barrero, I need you to stay with me for a while. We want to take an excerpt from Silvio Cascoreri and um, listen to what he has to say. Just stay with us. I'm excited, one, to be joining the presidential race. I'm coming to you today saying I'm available for this duty. I'm excited that I'll be in Zimbabwe and I'll be doing it in my country. My coming back to play a part in the politics and participate in these elections is meant also to ensure that we send a very clear message to the world that Zimbabwe is there for all of us. All right, that is Savior, presidential candidates vying for the presidential seat in Zimbabwe talking there. Well, you listen to him, uh, Malcolm Barrero. Uh, what do you think of his uh, nuances and his body language? Because some people say that he seems to be there just to cash in on emotions of people and not really to add any dynamics to Zimbabwean politics. What do you think? Yeah, of course, elections in Zimbabwe are purely about convergence of interests. You discover if you analyze elections back then, from 2018, 2013, and previously, they are always about convergence of interests. So now going into 2023 elections, which are there in just over 60 days' time, um, you discover that here he is, you know, playing as a, a political tactician who wants to make sure that he knows that some PF is highly popular, of which um, millions of Zimbabweans have grievances economically. Inflation is at a record high. Corruption, also the gold mafia. It's humiliating. It you know doesn't make sense. It's like we we have a mafia instead of a government. We look at load shedding. We look at jobs. There are no jobs. Industries are down. So of course it's apparent for all that no one wants an PF. So by coming in, uh, Mr. Kasukwere strategy clearly it's about you know that uh, maybe coming in might divide an PF vote or prevent an outright fixture of either two leading political parties between an PF and Citizens Coalition for Change. And of which if he manages, let's say he managed to get a few percentage, let's say two or five percent, he hopes that he would be sort of a kingmaker in a rerun if, if such suffices. So it's more of a, a, a strategy to, you know, last minute come and be a kingmaker through a possible rerun. That's the only way he can, he can really be a kingmaker and uh, well, right. with 
Mm. All right, thank you so much, uh, Marco Moreiro, for joining us. Thank you.